冇搞錯啊，得閒啦。House calls one million. Huh? It's a. No, I'm done. Tell you first. Don't fall, baby. Endothelial keratoplasty in the form of decimate stripping automated endothelial keratoplasty, or DSAC for short, is fast becoming the preferred alternative to conventional penetrating keratoplasty. But the major challenge is to reduce endothelial damage largely induced by folding and unfolding the donor lamella in the AC, which can be surgically challenging. Recent studies report high primary graft failure rates ranging from 6 to 45 percent and approximately 34 percent endothelial cell loss after surgery. As a result, surgeons are seeking alternative methods to implant the donor. We have developed a simple and effective technique using a modified anterior chamber IOL sheet slide, enabling insertion of the donor without folding into an anterior chamber deepened with an AC maintainer. This technique is ideal even in small eyes with high vitreous pressure as the glide prevents iris prolapse when the wound is opened. The donor is pulled through with the use of a tan desaic forceps which has also been developed. In this animation, the sheet glide is first trimmed slightly to slide through a 5mm scleral incision into the AC. Viscoelastic is used both on the glide and on the donor endothelial surface and the donor is placed onto the glide. The tan desaic forceps is then inserted across the AC, emerging out through the wound to grasp the donor, which is then simply pulled in a slightly upwards direction into the eye. The glide is then removed and injection of a small air bubble prevents descent of the donor onto the iris. Our in vitro studies with a human cornea desaic bubble using scanning electron microscopy and vital dye staining have now confirmed that folding causes more endothelial damage than our glide technique, relating to forceps compression. Folding resulted in 38% mean cell damage as compared to gliding, which only produced 9% cell damage. In this video of our technique, the modified sheets glide is first inserted through a 5mm scleral tunnel. Copious amounts of viscoat is then placed on the endothelial surface of the donor and the anterior lamella is then removed. More viscoat is placed onto the glide and the donor is then carefully everted endothelial surface down onto the bed of viscoelastic. The tan forceps is then inserted across the anterior chamber and the donor is grabbed and simply pulled into the eye. A small air bubble is inserted to keep the donor up and after wound closure, a full air fill for 8 minutes ensures donor adherence. We have now performed 70 cases of desaic in Asian eyes for various forms of endothelial decompensation. We initially started with the conventional taco folding technique in our first 20 cases, but quickly abandoned this when we experienced 5 cases of primary graft failure, an unacceptably high rate of 25%. When we switched to our new glide technique for the subsequent 50 cases, we immediately noticed a significant improvement in corneal clarity in the early postoperative appearance. Our corneas in the folding cases were routinely edematous on the first day, while our glide cases were almost always clear from day one. To date, we have only experienced one primary failure among our 50 glide cases representing a much lower primary failure rate of only 2%, much closer to the primary graft failure rate of 1.7% for penetrating keratoplasty at our center. In addition, our one failure was our first attempt at the glide technique in which we inserted an overly thick 400 micron donor which resulted in decimus detachment. This patient had the original folding technique for his right eye 
which shows a post-operative endothelial cell loss of 47% with a residual cell count of 1400 cells. In contrast, a subsequent eye which had glide insertion only shows a 19% endothelial cell loss and with a cell count of 2200. We have encountered no cases of donor dislocation in our glide series despite the use of copious viscoelastic, although we initially did have one case of dislocation in our folding series. All of our primary failures have also now had successful graft replacement using the glide technique. Finally, our preliminary post-operative endothelial cell count data suggests a high 63% cell loss in the folding cases as compared to a 26% cell loss in our glide cases. A reduction by almost 60% suggesting that the glide technique in our smaller Asian eyes is able to certainly match the reported 34% cell loss rates in larger Caucasian eyes. In summary, folding insertion in desake surgery appears to be more damaging to donor endothelium than our glide technique. And now that we no longer fold the donor, we are experiencing much lower rates of primary graft failure and better endothelial cell counts. So, please don't fold. Don't fold, baby. Ставлям Мидорац в мозг в рейд на 10 миллионов долларов. I vote.